Welcome back. It's a uh, brainstorm with Brian Sturm. I am a gamer, a game designer, and I have been a game tester. And this is Bioshock Infinite. And uh, I'm going to go through this and try and impart as much knowledge as I can. And obviously, I'll be distracted by playing the game, and you can take from it what you want. And to my fellow game designers and game makers, I reserve the right to sometimes have reactions as a gamer, as a human being. And I hope you take it uh, with a grain of salt. And um, I obviously understand what goes into making a game. This is actually one of my only critiques about um, Bioshock Infinite. Um, and it's, pre it's a pretty minor one. Um, just trying to find this lever. It's pretty interesting to watch um, um, people trying to find that lever. That's a great moment. That's a great moment. He's gone to ground. Um, it's kind of weird. I guess they weren't really aware of me coming up behind them. And I believe this uh, this particular fight really shows off the power of. Um, um, Killing people with Skyline Strike. There's another Skyline up above. Somehow I get some elevation, I could probably reach it. That's what you wanted. So you heard that little bit of audio? Um Interesting that the audio is triggered only with the three guys on the ground being dead. Um, I didn't realize that the guy above could still be alive and you'd still get the, um... Still get the audio. Oh, wait, did I finally take falling damage? Holy shit, that's cool. I didn't realize there was a... Oh, maybe I just got shot. My little audio sting. Okay. And um, coming into this room, uh, what I believe... I believe they also wanted to make this not one of the easiest equipments to find. Um, for me, as a level designer and as a obsessive-compulsive explorer, um, I would explore. I would have explored this anyway. What I do like about this is, boom, eye-catching. All right. Then... If the average person is saving, um, they're walking, they're going to pick up here, and they're going to rotate around a little bit like this. And that's the end of that. When I saw that this was at a jaunty angle, I just, I don't know. Nice. I think this is my, um, oh, no, that's not my favorite one. But, um. And the, it's completely random equipment, by the way, folks. Um, I've definitely experienced various different pieces of equipment there. Uh, I believe that's just a lighting issue. Because they're... Not quite sure what's going on there. I should know. I should know. And so here, graduation day, you really are... They don't tell you anything. They're not doing any more pop-ups. You're supposed to just um, go ahead and attach. Now, mind you, notice that here's my average horizon point of my UI. And look at how much of that is easy to find. I want to give you your first real roller coaster moment here. A lot of apprehension, apprehension. And then... Woo! Stand down! Stand down! 
Now, I got another bug to happen here um, previously. I had made all of these guys disappear. So when the Prophet gives his speech, let me see if I can't trigger it. Nope. Oh, oh well. Uh, Prophet gives his speech saying, uh, all these men here will give their lives. There were no men. Um, it was a little funny. All right. I know why you have come, false shepherd. I see every sin that blackens your soul. Wounded knee, the Pinkertons, the drink, the gambler, and of course, Anna. And now, to repay a debt, you've come from my land. But not all debts can be repaid, Booker. You don't know me, pal. Prophecy is my business, Mr. DeWitt. As blood is yours. You know why these men will die for me? Because I have seen their future in the glory. And hence they are content. What brought you to Columbia, Booker? Bring us the girl and wipe away the debt? This will end in blood, DeWitt. Then again. It always does with you, doesn't it? <laughs> You've come to lead my lamb astray, but thy crook is bent and thy path is twisted. twisted. Go back to the Sodom from which you came. Huh. Um, da -da -dum. Okay. I. Um, I'm a little bit of an audio snob, so sometimes how deeply they detuned his voice, um, uh, they're trying to make it unsettling. Um, you got to look at also a lot of the warmth and exposure here, and then the shock of what happened. Boom. Holy shit. Can't do a skyline strike there. Interesting. It's kind of registering it weird. See that? That's an Unreal Engine. So that these corpses have um, have a certain amount of weight. And that's because this actual thing is going up and down off the side. Oh, she just... Oh, there she went. I gotta find the controls to take this thing to Monument Island. On the hand, super minor, but you see this? A little bit of a... Kind of a lighting issue. I assume it's a lighting issue. Some kind of LOD popping thing. So one uh, LOD uh, for that area was rendered at one kind of lighting. And the other one was rendered at another kind of lighting. Um, I'm intrigued that I can fire my weapon here. Not going to hurt you. Um... They obviously took the time to put in the technology into the game where if you're pointing your gun at um, Elizabeth, you can't you can't pull the trigger. Eh. I mean, maybe it's just not worth it um, to put it for this character. But um, eh, I would have liked to have not been able to shoot through her head invisibly. Super minor. Okay, I'm sure I can get this thing going. The Lord forgives everything. I'm just a prophet, so I don't have to. Amen. Jesus! Well, that 
of here. I find it funny that she really lasts like a pretty long time. Come on, lady. Come on, lady. There we go. That's impressive. That's a long time to last in flame. All right. Um, I want to note that um, by showing showing Comstock there, um, they do confirm to you that he's a physical person. You know, um, some players, as they're playing along, they don't necessarily know what's going on there. I think also the get away from um, any kind of um, fundamentalist Christians or people who are up, up might get upset with this game, thinking that maybe there's some illusion that Comstock is God. Um, uh, that's just a hunch. I mean, I'm just going. What I love doing that. I love long jumps. Um, I'm really surprised this area doesn't have any loot. It really doesn't. Um, just like tiny, tiny bits, but. Let's see, yeah. Sure, why not? Beautiful animation. If you notice that there's two little vials going into your main vial, kind of cool. Once again, lots, lots of art assets, lots of scripted things, lots of things that need to be unloaded, and here we go into the next area.